Nationals happened. Then the match with Komi Mudai happened. Hinata fell sick and Karasuno lost the match. The team placed 8th in the nation and we all eagerly awaited for what's going to happen next. We all anticipated seeing new recruits, seeing the rivalries of Karasuno grow and mature and looking forward for the new chapter of Karasuno volleyball team. But immediately we were greeted with this panel. The statue of Christ the Redeemer in Brazil with the caption years later and the character on the bike delivering food. No one had expected a time skip, but in hindsight it makes sense. However, those years in the time skip did happen. Those rivalries did play out. The new recruits did join the team and our favorite freshmen did stay in Karosuno team and played the heck out. This video discusses all of that in a chronological order. And so, let's start right at the beginning of the year 2013 in January. Hinata felt sick and was advised by coach Uka to keep eating healthy and gain good muscle towards the end of the tournament journey. The team relaxes and eats together for one final time. One can assume that the seniors now might have contributed to the practice of the juniors in the club, but the team was now under the leadership of Inoshita, still a second year. Come March of that same year, the OGs of the team have now graduated and Inoshita is now the official captain of the team and Yachi the lead manager. This is the earliest that the new recruits might have joined. I am certain that the current Karasuno alumni, Tokita, Shoji and Yatome were the earliest recruits when Inoshita took the helm and Hinata and the other freshmen became the second years. These three would have had the chance to play with Hinata and Kageyama for two whole years. I wish we could have seen how the relationship between Hinata, Kageyama and the others and the new recruits fared out, but I am sure that they must have gotten quite close since they spent two years together, longer than Hinata spent with Daichi and seeing as they also came to see the match between Hinata and Kageyama and seemed very excited about it, I am sure that the years in Karasuno were a blast. In the summer of 2013, the new Karasuno team played with Data Tech in the Inter High qualifiers and lost. Data Tech went to Inter High Nationals and reached top 16. Sometime in 2013, either before or after the match with Data Tech, Hinata asked coach Uka that he wanted to train on the beach in order to master the fundamentals of volleyball. They went over various options and he presumably even tried some beach volleyball back then. But the real help came during the rookie camp of that year when coach Washijo of all people offered help by suggesting Hinata go to Brazil to train with one of Shira Turizawa's alumnus. Washito asked Hinata to prepare for the journey for one year after graduating and gave Hinata the time limit of two years to train abroad. Soon after the spring tournament came along in January 2014, Karasuno went to the Nationals for the second year in a row where they faced the Mian Twins in round 3 and lost, as Atsumu had foreshadowed the year before. But hey, is that the former captain of Enajiraki, Kita and Aran, the former ace, cheating them from behind? Anyway, by this time the current third years of the team, namely Inoshita, Kinoshita and Narita retired from the club. But they could have also helped their juniors with their practice like Daichi and others might have done. Or maybe not, maybe they decided to hand over the team completely to their talented juniors early since they were the real powerhouses. Regardless, our dear OG first years now became the third years and none other than Yamaguchi became the captain. With the only known characters now the third years and completely unknown first years, this team was the last team that saw Hinata and Kageyama play together. The first year recruits of 2014 would have joined the team that had made to the nationals twice in a row and also had some of the monster players. Yamaguchi presided over a team that was now an absolute powerhouse in Miyagi prefecture and would be counted amongst the likes of Shira Todezawa and Aoba Josai. So one could argue that the first years who joined the team in 2014 would have to be very skilled players to make the regulars. As 2015 rolled by, the team went to spring tournament for the third time in a row and had their best performance yet. The team got to play on the center court with Yamaguchi as the captain, stood third in the nation, losing to Itajiyama in the semifinals. This was the last time we would see familiar faces in Karasuno. As March of 2015 rolled out, the third years graduated and one of the first years from, from 2013 became the captain. By this time, Hinata had also become a very good receiver. 
as we see him receiving a powerful serve by Kageyama. This was also the last time the two would have stood on the court as high school students. Now the gang was split ways. Yachi, Yamaguchi and Tsukishima went to college while Kageyama chose to go straight to the V-Leagues where he excelled. There he joined the Shoden Adlers where he played with Uchijima and Hoshiyumi. Very soon he would be selected to the Japan national volleyball team. As for Hinata, well, he spent rest of the 2015 training on the sands of Japan under the coach Takahashi and preparing to go to Brazil. Sometime during the late 2015 or early 2016, Hinata went to Tokyo to see his friend Kenma, who had graduated from Nekoma back in 2014 when Hinata became a third year in high school. Kenma was now a college student, traded stocks, and was a YouTuber and a CEO. He sponsored Hinata while he was in Brazil. So now, March 2016 rolled up and Hinata finally left Japan for Brazil. Sometime just before this, his sister Natsu gave him a nice little wallet as a gift. In Brazil, he trained and started to help Lucio Kato instruct his students as his training. Hinata also started to deliver food for work. In August of 2016, Olympics came and Kageyama got the opportunity to play for Japan in Brazil. It is not known whether Hinata and Kageyama met but likely not. Hinata though had a hard time initially and was feeling homesick but found his groove soon after he met none other than Oekawa who was now a setter in Argentinian Volleyball League. All of this more than likely happened in 2016. If you want to see the detail of Hinata's time in Brazil, check out the video I've already made. However, after Oekawa went back to Argentina, Hinata started his training for real and come 2017, he had made quite a reputation and was now known as Ninja Shoyo. The panel that we saw in chapter 369 most likely happened around this time in 2017. By the time of this panel, he had already met Oekawa and was now well adjusted in Brazil and was now good friends with his roommate Pedro. And after this, we were all caught up with the current timeline. But I'll review the events after this real quick. Hita likely approached Hinata soon after this panel and they played together in October 2017 in Solkart Cup. Hinata was a guest to his wedding and in March 2018, Hinata returned to Japan. Back home, he tried out for several teams and one among them was the Black Jackals. By November 2018, Hinata is in the Black Jackals and playing against Kageyama who is continuing with the Adlers. And now, we are all caught up. Bye.